While I'm busily making clock videos, I figure I would make one more. You see, this was the subject of a video a while back. It's been brought up, or the subject of which has been brought up several times. You know, what happened to that alarm clock with all of the funny colored LED segments? Well, here it is. It's not gone yet. It's not broken. Well, it kind of is. But uh, let's get into that. So you'll see right off the bat that that's missing. I do know where that is. It's on the floor somewhere. But it's an Intertech Equity Industries Corporation model 3222. ETO listed, blah blah blah, all that stuff. Risk of electric shock, do not open, made in China, which tells you all you really need to know. And space for a 9-volt battery. Just a standard clock. And there are all your settings. There's a light, which actually lights up the snooze button here, the snooze bar. You've got the alarm switch, the hour and the minute set, and then the time and the alarm, and then the space for the alarm buzzer. So what's the problem, you may ask? Well, let's plug it in and find out. I promise that when I do this, or at least I hope that it doesn't do this, it's not going to catch on fire. Let's see what happens probably prove me a liar now that I'm doing this on camera. There you go. That's what happens. There's something missing here. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Looks like the segments are not there. There's that ugly guy. Wow, that breaks cameras right there. I mean, I've already broken my JVC. Don't want to break this nice Sony Handycam. Shouldn't do that very often. Anyway, the light in the snooze bar works, as you can see. But, uh, nothing else really does. Oh, the alarm light does. But the timekeeping doesn't work, and as best as I can tell, the alarm uh, functionality doesn't work either. There's a simple solution for this, though. We're going to take a 9-volt battery right here, and we're going to install this in the clock. Now let's see, which way is it supposed to be? That way. Whoa! What, what's this? Could it be? Is it working? It is. So, putting batteries into it actually manages to make it work. Hmm. That's an interesting feature. Let's see, can I set the time? I can set the time. Or at least superficially I can set the time. It's about 7.42 now. Doing this one-handed is not exactly easy. Let's see, it should be 42. And there it is. You can even set the alarm. And I will do that, but I'll do that in a second when I've got both hands. The light bar even works when the battery is installed. Problem is, is it drains batteries really quickly. Okay, so unfortunately that clock is going to be going back into the box until I find its solution. But never fear. I will find a way to get this clock working once again.